think you know Ninja songs? Old school or new school? Stand a chance to win big on Gusto Guess the Song. To be a part of this, call the numbers on your screen right now. Come on board and let's do things the Gusto way. Hey guys, welcome to Gusto News on Gusto TV. I'm Eni Lua. And on the news today, I've got, of course, Whiskey. Yeah, CK. And another person that's buzzing at the moment, Lode. Uh, of course, I'd say thank you to you all for the likes, the comments, telling people about Gusto TV. Thank you so much. And for those of you who are, part, who are not part of the channel yet, okay, you can join us by clicking on the subscribe button. And I would always stay on the notification bell as well because you know, first, you know, when you're here, you should have actually get notified when something is popping up. Yeah, yeah, so guys, just do that. So let's move on to the very first uh story on the news today is whiskey. You know, when whiskey pops up, it's just like, what do you want to see? Do you want to talk about Baby Legos? Do you want to talk about SS? Do you want to talk about the MIL tour that you no know, did? amazing crowd you know at the uh, first phase of a tour you don't talk about so many things to talk about you know when it comes to whiskey especially in the year 2021 we see them having a very very amazing year but this time around you know sometimes ago he put up on his story saying that he's um working on the next album uh, almost done yes he said we should pray for him and everybody's like wow wow we are not even done gulping you know made in lagos so it's like oh, oh you know are you already about to serve us another one well you know one of the amazing producers who worked on on that project i gave us the hit song ss is p2j and them um, legendary btf from nigeria now is working with the us based um, producer and of course maybe we're about to see another global hits from whiskey based on this work well of course the excited producer went on on his official twitter page to say um okay my happy place at whiskey io metro booming well of course it's amazing to know that you know this artist uh this producer gets to work with whiskey and instead of whiskey going on to post oh i'm with this you know this we find the international you know market already right but it's this this um reserve reverse easter you know case here he goes on to put up his twitter he seems to be the one excited saying it is a happy place and of course tagging whiskey what would his bet we don't know but of course we'll be on the lookout to see what you know they are both cooking and when it's out maybe he's going to release it as a single or you know come with the next project whatever it is we hope whiskey does not keep us too long before this one gets out now let's move on to the next on this news it's someone who came up with his 2019 song love one to say and that one has become a global hit week after he week you know that song keeps doing uh, madness beyond africa you know, the entire universe you know yesterday uh, someone was saying on twitter that you know the song is now um they can now certify gold in switzerland not forgetting that it just got certified you know in um france gold as well so yes a lot of things happening around this song and we're just so excited yes but it's not just limited to love one city alone the remix as well is doing exceedingly well and of course on the next one here you can see that um the song is um love one city dj yo and excel remix yes of course this is one of the remix uh feature of course it got himself got dj yo there's excel and on the next slide, you can see how well this one is doing at the moment. It says that CK on the score years, I uh, love one to see remix feature DJ Yo and Excel has surpassed 100 million streams on Spotify in 42 days, less than 50 days. Yeah. And it goes on to say, going back to that same tweet, um, it becomes the fastest African song to surpass this milestone. It was released September 9th, 2021, last month. Amazing. This is amazing. I mean, 100 million streams some artists have great anyways everyone is doing well in their own way but this is of course massive for ck and of course a big big congratulations to him 100 million in um 42 days you know just releasing it about a month ago uh well all the best to him moving on to the next one yes they have um ck on this one and it's shazam coming up with this week top 10 artists on shazam global chat and once again ck goes on to hold another week to himself again as ck tops this one ck at ck on the score yo is number one on this week's uh, top 10 artists on the shazam global chat 
Uh, we like the likes of Adele. We like the likes of Linux. There's um, Kid Leroy. No. Sharon, you know, a whole lot, Lisa, you know, a lot of names here on the top 10. And of course, it's so, so amazing to have CK as the only uh, Nigeria here. And of course, he got the number one spot, a very big one for him, still holding it down as the most Shazam song in the world. Of course, you know, that is love one since Congrats to CK. Now, let's round off this news with another person who is an outbreak of this year, 2021. We saw himself alongside Sass release the Love and Attention EP. That, of course, has songs like Tony Gove, got songs like Love and Attention, as we skid on that one. You know, and there's Mona Lisa who has said, who has stood out to be like, you know, the superstar of that um, EP. Well, of course, a lot of Nigerian artists have been going on shows, tour, um, headline shows and all of that in the US and of course different parts of the world and this is comes by no surprise as Loje has gone on to his Instagram page just to announce that Loje comes on the 3rd of um, December this year is going to be headlining his first show it goes on in his caption to say Loje music London it is time so starting his own from the UK he goes on to say my first headline show in the UK and I can't wait to share these moments with you tickets on sale now link in my bow with the fire emoji guys this is a very exciting one I mean seeing the guys who's been in the industry for more than a decade those ones who have been like three four years two years and of course the very new ones we refer to you know the breakout of this year who we'll definitely will be expecting that when we're seeing the list of you know Eddie's um, next week next year we'll be expecting to see their name already headlining a show this is a big one for Lujay. super proud of him and of course how well you know the afrobeats sound has been doing lately in you know beats in nigeria and africa and of course all around the globe wishing him all the best on that one and of course new updates on that one would we'll definitely bring it to you here so guys this is the end of the news you can tell me in the comment section what your thoughts are about this news we'll be right there to respond to some or maybe all of your comments but for me i'd always have more news to bring to you guys so stay safe bye